first time I saw Frankie Hill was in about, I don't know, I'd got to say probably about 1988. What really stands out in my memory is band, is band this. Um, at the end, I, I, we, we were all, me and my friends were all thinking, how on earth is this guy going, is he really that psycho? Is he psychotic? Like going that big cavemanning, that, like rails that big? And then, and then I just like, I just remember him jump ramping onto like a 40 stair rail sticking and scorpioning. I think it cut off before you actually saw the slam because it was probably too gnarly to actually show back then. But that was my introduction, I think, to Frankie Hill. And that, I, it was just ridiculous. We couldn't believe it, me and my friends watching that. Like I was just the craziest, the, the craziest shit ever. And then um, moving on to, to uh, propaganda, the famous Santa Barbara dirt gap, the mountain. I remember, we, I remember that, that, that mute grab, it seemed like, that mute grab down that gap, it seemed like he was in the air for an eternity. And we were like, there's no way. Like, how was that possible? It was so huge. And uh, it was funny because I actually, like back then when I was a kid, like we wanted to do everything in the videos, like everything. So I actually, I actually cut school, made up a story for the weekend, told my mom that we were doing something for school, drove down to Santa Barbara just so that I could go, like the four of us, just so because I wanted to ollie that gap. I had to do it. For some reason, I had it in my brain that I had to go ollie that gap. So we uh, made up a lie, cut school on a Friday, went down Saturday in the morning. I think we warmed up at the Powell Skate Zone or whatever. And we went. And I just remember looking at the thing like, this is huge. But I, I drove all the way down. I made up a lie. We made up this huge... Uh, you know, extravagant excuse to get down there. So I had to, I had to try, and I tried. I went and I tried to do it. And I first, I slammed so hard, unbelievably hard, the first few times. And then I noticed that both of my my trucks were broken. <laughs> but it was crazy. I couldn't believe it. Like, how do you break both your trucks on one try? And I, I, I don't know what it was in my brain, but I like gave it one more shot on two broken trucks and ended up I remember it was so hard to push because it was it was like uh, I don't know my wheels were sticking the bearings weren't moving very well but I I, I gave it one more try and actually rolled away and uh, I just want to thank Frankie Hill for for uh, showing me the way like that was gnar that like that was ridiculous it was just like showing us that you could actually go that fucking huge on a skateboard uh, also, like, without, without dudes, and specifically without Frankie Hill, like, I would never have been able to do, like, what I did, you know, on a skateboard. That's what made me want to go out and take it a little bit further, you know what I mean? Like, without dudes like Frankie Hill, and specifically him, like, I wouldn't have been able to, you know, like, do what I did without being pushed mentally like that to the limit, man. So, yeah, Frankie Hill, man. Ripper. Thanks, man.